everyone kind of wants to know. I mean, I, the the waves, the size of the waves that day out at, out at Cortez. Yeah. I mean, can you talk about like what? Yeah, the, how the big size were of the waves that day were they were the biggest waves I've ever seen, hands down, easy. And uh, I think Jaws is the only place I've seen where I've been <clears throat> maybe more scared because of the power of the waves at Jaws. And the first time I surfed really big Jaws, that was probably even more overwhelming. But this this day was uh, this last Cortez was clearly the big, biggest waves I've ever seen. Um, I know I saw waves uh, over the 70 foot mark, 80 foot plus waves out there. I, I even think that there might have been a, a wave close to 100 feet out there. I really do. Um, surfable, it, it, like a surfable, theoretically yes, surfable. Yes, I, I do. I believe someone will get a 100 foot wave out there um, for sure, and that will be the spot it'll happen because um, the reef will handle it, and the, the the way the storm, in my opinion, the way the, the storm's set up there in the North Pacific and where it's located. It, it, it'll happen there, and um, I mean, it was really close that day. I think had there been a few more people out there and a few more people documenting it, someone might have been real close. Um, I mean, I know uh, Greg was saying the same thing, Twiggy was saying the same thing, and Brad too. All of us were just, <clears throat> I couldn't believe it was really that big. Uh, we thought it was going to be the, the biggest we'd ever seen it, but it was another level on top of that. It was like okay, wait, I've seen waves that look about 50, 60 feet. This seemed to be another 20, 30 feet bigger. Wow. And the waves, riding the waves, the, the couple of the really big waves we rode just never, ever seemed to end. You're just, it never seemed like there was a bottom on them. It was amazing. It and was, then letting go of the rope, I mean, on a wave that size, was it clear when to let go of the rope? I mean, uh, no, it wasn't clear. You're tracking them from so far out, and you're trying, you're, you're on the rope, and you're trying to see where's the reef, you know, where's the reef and when is this thing going to jack up and can I let go yet? Because the last thing you want to do is let go and lose your speed. The other last yeah. thing you want to do is go <laughs> too fast and get out in front of it and have it catch up and hit you. So your, your timing is so critical of when you let go. But, um, I've, you know, driving the ski and, and tracking them from so far out, it was the, <clears throat> the biggest wave I caught. We, we, were, we were kind of motoring back out and Greg and Twiggy were inside of us. And uh, it was our turn to go. And Brad was going to tow me into the first one. It actually wasn't the first wave of the set, but it was a really big wave. And, and I went, no, 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 there's, there's something behind it. And he was in disbelief that I wanted to go over it because the one in front would look like such a big, perfect wave. And sure enough, we went over it. And, and uh, it was just one of those moments of like, uh, the, one of the only times I've ever been toe surfing where I went, oh, my God, i got to ride this. Am I really going to ride this? Because it was just the, the entire ocean was just, it was just this huge wall. You're coming at it? So we, were, we were driving out toward it okay. and, and looping around like this. And I went, okay, here we go. This is, this is going to be interesting. I mean, I'd, I've never seen anything like it. When I let go, I was like, you know, just like you said, I was trying to figure out where, where to let go and have that perfect amount of speed. And uh, the, the, the drop, drop just never end never ended. It was just down, 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 down. That was really bumpy and my board cavitated a little and I started to slide back up a little and then keep going. And I kicked out, the wave hit me and, and I made it and kicked out. And Greg was, uh, Greg Long came up to me on the ski, just screaming and yelling, saying, that was unbelievable. I've never seen a wave that big. And it was, it was pretty darn exciting, you know, and, 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 and that was, that was kind of early in the session. That was about uh, maybe an hour and a half in, and, and uh, we all rode the, for sure the biggest waves of our lives for the next three hours. I, I mean, I saw Greg ride two waves that were, you know, probably bigger than the one. He didn't get it documented, but they were, they were, they were probably 80-foot waves. I think they were. They were just ridiculous. I mean, on face height, for sh they were just out of this world big. So you making that first wave, I mean, probably helped everyone in a way, that confidence, like, okay, he made that. Yeah, no, that. It, it, was, it really helped my confidence. Um, uh, uh, I had heel straps on my board, and, and none of those guys did. I felt like I had really good control. <clears throat> um, but at the same time, you never on those really biggest waves, almost every time I've been on one, my board has slowed down a little or cavitated some because it, uh, it's so hard to handle the speed. I actually had a forefin on the on the boat, a brand new one that I probably should have rode. I think it would have worked even better, but um, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna try it next time. But we, we just didn't want to mess around. I didn't want to mess around with anything I hadn't tried because we, we, it was clearly the biggest waves I've ever seen. I'm like, I, the last thing I want to do is jump on a board that doesn't, I'm not sure what it's gonna do. Right, and was that board, what was, how long did you have that board? I had had that board, um, uh, Timmy Patterson uh, made it for me about three years ago. It mm -hmm. was a 6'3". 
And, um, you know, nowadays the, the newer ones I'm writing are 6.0. So it was in, in tow terms, it was a, it was a little bit uh, of an older bore, but I knew it worked well. Right. And that's, <laughs> that's pretty key, important yeah. at that moment. Yeah, <laughs> for sure. For sure. Well, cool. Well, thanks so much for your time. Yeah, thanks, and, Mark. Uh, thanks, thanks for having me. I yeah, appreciate it. Yeah, that's great.